All right, as you guys can see, I have a different setup today. And we're gonna see how this works out for us when we do the Divine Masculine reading. So what is going on with the Divine Masculine Collective? What's going on with our Divine Masculines? We're gonna find out about the karmic situation, how they feel about you, divine connect, and how they feel about themselves. Because seriously, there's been some stuff going on with the divine masculine lately. And, you know, energetically speaking, a lot of things are happening in Aries, which usually has a say on masculine energies all right that's that's a given here. we know so right now what's going on with the divine masculine collective we want to know about the karmic situation divine feminine and then so let's see what we got going on here As I said, this is a new setup. So bear with me. Bear with me. I have a lot of cards, a lot of decks, a lot of decks. Okay. Right now, what it is looking like, <laughs> all right, okay, all right. So right now towards the karmic situation, in the recent past, he's been taking a lot of his energy within and weaving his own webs. He's, he, we got the hermit, hermit, we got the hermit and the eight of swords here in the recent past section. So I want to see what the heck is going on with the hermit. Let me clarify the hermit here. Just let me know what the heck is going on with this hermit. All right. There we go. And of course, where did the card go? the three of swords which is usually a heartbreak card we know that and we got the eight of candles which is is we got another eight so we got the eight of candles clarifying the eight of swords over here and the he had a broken heart in this karmic situation which caused him to go within and take some time out from basically society and everything so he's sitting there going in, in, within and trying to make better decisions for himself. He's, he's in a place where he's kind of been blindfolded in the past where he was making a web. He didn't know what he was making it for. He didn't know who he was making it for. And he thought it was with this karmic person, but apparently this karmic person just added nothing but heartache. And then right now, towards divine feminine, he's got the knight of coins, which is the knight of pentacles, and the devil in the recent past energy, which means he was feeling addicted to divine feminine. He was feeling addicted to divine feminine. 
and he wanted to to give you a message or even some pentacles he wanted to give you some he wanted to give you money and that devil energy comes out because okay what's going on here Yeah, that devil energy is coming out because, well, Ten of Cups. You're, you're this Divine Masculine's Ten of Cups and the Six of Swords and the Four of Presents. And you are literally on his mind. He can't get you. It, it, it was like an addiction kind of. Or maybe he was dealing with an addiction that stopped him from coming forward to you i mean that could happen that could happen but the devil energy has to do with like addictions toxic behavior um toxic karmic cycles and we've got the ten of cups here so you're closing out probably closing out some toxic karmic cycles in luck that's what he's seeing towards you. He's closing out those toxic karmic cycles as in the past. And he, he wants to give you what you deserve. But that was in the past. And he's, he's sitting here in the middle like, make, I got to make a decision. Two of swords, got to make a decision. Can't make a decision, got to make a decision. Can't make a decision, got to make a decision. Can't make a decision. This is heartbreak. This is everything I wanted, but I got to make a decision. And then in right now, currently, currently, we've got the tower and the ace of cups reversed. So everything's falling down and there ain't no new beginning happening, especially in love with this karmic situation. There's no new beginning. It's just not happening. The tower is falling. This whole situation is fucked and we're done. So, let's see. Clarify the tower and the ace of cups reverse. Clarify the karmic situation with the tower and the ace of cups reverse. All right. We've got the eight of potions, which is there in a graveyard. And the hermit. Only now the hermit's reversed. So it's like you came out of your shell to like bring the tower down. <laughs> he came out of his shell to bring the damn tower down. He came out of everything and said, fuck this. I'm going to tell my truth. I'm going to say what it is. And this tower comes down. It's coming down on your head. The, the eight of potions, the eight of cups here. It's like he had options. He, 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 like, I got options and I don't want this beginning with you. I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm bringing the tower down. I'm coming out of hermit mode because here we are. The hermit's up right up here. He's thinking, he's healing. That heartbreak is there. And he's trying to, to understand it. And then we got the hermit reversed on top of the tower. So he's done thinking. And the tower is coming down. Tower's co tower is coming down. We're over here towards the divine feminine. He's like, uh, six of coins is reversed, which is to a lesser degree, the, the abundance. It's abundance, but to a lesser degree. It's still abundance. He still sees the divine feminine as abundant. And the king of swords is coming rushing in because the king of swords is about taking action. I mean, he's taking about he's about taking action, but he thinks about it first. He's an over freaking thinker. That's what the King of Swords is. He overthinks everything. And then we got the Listen, I can't call this shit. We got the magician upright that just came out. And let's see if we can get another one card, please. One more card to clarify. The six of coins. Reverse. I said one. But listen. Now we got the emperor over here too. And he over here. And then the magician is up right here and upside down here. Like, bro. 
You... He wants to, like, he wants the divine feminine. He like, mm-hmm, that's who I want. That's how I'm going to make my... I'm doing my... I'm, I'm putting it all on divine feminine. I'm putting it all on her. Like, I'm done with this shit. The tower's coming down. There ain't no new start here. The magic's over here with the emperor and, like... The king of swords and we moving like the the energy is all there. But then he's 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 still internally in conflict with himself. He is still fighting internally with himself currently. He's like the divine feminine is everything I want, everything I need. She was the devil up here, like we was a little addicted, stuck in obsessive thinking about her, but we didn't know what was going on. But she's my Ten of Cups, and now she's everything I need. She's the magic. She's, I'm bringing my Emperor game. I'm bringing my A game to Divine Covenant. I'm done with this bullshit over here, whether that is a fucking another situation, a karmic situation, like a situationship, or like a... Um, a career maybe maybe he's done with that but if you was dealing with third party situation they are done no more new starts in love no more new starts no more they had options and they didn't want to take that option the the hermit came back out he's like i'm done i'm done retreating i'm gonna tell you how it is and then he goes over here and he like mm -hmm, i'm the emperor now and you're the magician and we gonna ride this shit together I, I'm good like I'm good you are where I want to be and I know it now but he's fighting with himself and we don't know why he's fighting with himself like okay what decision did divine masculine have to make with himself internally and why is he fighting with himself currently why is he in the energy of fighting with himself we got the ten of candles reversed and the seven of candles like he's fighting with himself about taking action towards towards the divine feminine and walking away from this karmic situation he is fighting with himself he wants to walk away he's he's walking away currently and he's going towards her he's going towards her he's he's practically running there if he stops fighting with himself and overthinking everything. Because that's what he is. He's overthinking everything. And then we got a celebration and strength in, in the karmic situation. But honestly, you're probably celebrating the strength it took to freaking leave with all this mess. Like, we celebrate and we done. It's done. We done. I had the strength to move on. We done. So what's going on with the strength in the three of cups here? What is going on in the near future with the freaking karmic situation? Okay. Well, death. Yeah. We celebrate the death of this whole freaking thing. Oh my goodness. All right. Yeah, we got the three of cups for the three of cups. So we are literally celebrating the death of this. The world got turned upside down. Hangman is upside down. And the ace of fucking swords is also upside down. Like, his world got turned upside down. And they he is celebrating the death of this freaking situation. He had the strength to take the power into his own hands. He turned the world upside down. And he is done. Is dead. Is is dead. Is dead and over with. And they are he's celebrating he's celebrating the death of this shit he's celebrating the death of this shit while he's over here looking at you you the magician reversed and and the four of cups so he's over here looking at you like mm -hmm. the magician might be reversed and that means it's an internal magic but he's seeing you is ha not only did you have the magic here but you also have internal magic now, and that's how he's seeing it in the future. He's like, mmm, yeah, she my four of cups. I want it all with this person. Internal magic, external magic. We manifest in everything. We manifest in it all right here with Divine Feminine. But seriously, 
Seriously? Yeah, he's he's thinking about giving you some presents. <laughs> he's thinking about like r rushing in with them presents for you, Divine Feminine. That's a lot. Like we got a lot for the bottom of the karmic section too. So let's see what we got. All right. All right. So, oh, the Empress fell on the Emperor. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. So <laughs> hold up. It is telling us a whole bunch of shit right now. Bro, we got the King of Needles and the Queen of Needles. That's a counterpart. That fell on the Emperor. Then we got the Moon over here with some secrets. He sees you as intuitive, definitely. Holding the secrets of the universe, possibly. And he's over here with a page of candles. He's like, mm-hmm, that's what I need. Seven of Needles. Three of Candles. Knight of Needles. The Star... Ten of presents, two of needles, king of potions. Like he is over here. Like he's he is he this thing is dead. It's done with. He's done. He he doesn't even know why he even did this in the first place. He doesn't know because the world was all fucked up and he had to hang himself upside down to see the true perspective of everything and find his own strength over here. And, but but they celebrating the death they they celebrating celebrating like super celebrating the death of this situation over here like they're so happy about the death of it but then they come over here and they see you and they're like huh well the counterparts might be reversed so it's the king and the queen of like swords right so the counterparts might be reversed but in all reality the magic is internal and external like right now he's seeing the external magic and in the near future he's going to see the internal magic and know that you are by far his his queen his his queen you are the empress to his emperor you make the stars shine and you make the stars shine in the walls. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. He wants to be the king of cups. He wants to come rushing in with that energy. Like, he wants to give you the love. He wants to, he wants you to see that you're his star. That you're his everything. Like, he's, he's gonna send you, he wants to bring some pet presents. He's got... He's got some messages coming your way. He, he is seeing how intuitive you are, how beautiful you are, how amazing you are. And Divine Feminine, because you know, usually if you're watching this, you resonate as a Divine Feminine, whether you are female or not. So Divine Feminine, your Divine Masculine is coming in hot for you. He's coming in hot and fast and furious and you are his star. You are his queen to his king. And then we got the emperor over here, but honey, we pulled the empress too. So like all of these cards are kind of, you're mirroring. He's mirroring you. This situation over here ain't shit. Because there's nothing going on. It ain't even a freaking... It, it was a karmic blow up. It was a karmic blow up. It blew up. It, it, the tower fell. The tower fell and the death happened. Like, they are celebrating the death currently. Like, well, in the near future. They're celebrating the death in the near future. Like, they are getting... They are seeing the death of this shit right now and how it cannot be revived. And over here, they're like, oh my God, let me throw all this at Divine Feminine because she deserves everything. Inside, outside, everything. I want to spill my guts. I need to come in rushing. She couldn't take this shit before, but 
listen, listen. Maybe she can handle me now. Maybe, maybe he's looking at divine feminine. Like maybe we're meant to be. Maybe we are soulmates. Maybe we're divine counterparts. Maybe there's more here than than meets the eye. And then he got the emperor like just chilling. He he emperoring. What's going on with this emperor real quick? All right, what's going on with the emperor? I know the emperor has popped out over there, but come on, what's going on with this emperor? Ugh. That's a lot, dude. I'm not, no. See, and here's the Empress falling out on top of the Emperor. Like, he, she's, she's, <laughs> yeah, like, got the high priestess like come on oh this was temperance oh okay so he's finding his internal balance that makes more sense now because now we got the empress falling out on top of the emperor which means he's seeing himself as your divine counterpart he's seeing divine feminine everywhere everywhere like it is it's it's beginning to overwhelm him how much he sees you and it's to the point where he had to kill this this whole shit is coming down in a tower and he's just brutally honest and now he's coming to you also being brutally honest but the brutally honest here and the brutally honest here are not the same this is brutally honest because he's loving himself and he's tired of the games. This is brutally honest because he's loving himself and he wants to love you, Divine Feminine. This is brutally honest because he's done. This is brutally honest because he wants something new, major, and amazing. And he's seeing it as a Wheel of Fortune moment. Like, he, the High Priestess is here the empress to the emperor like we all chilling like we can make this happen we can make it happen but i don't know that's that's what i'm seeing from that right now so let's see let's pull an oracle and see what happens. What's up? Okay. The prayer. He's praying. He's he's praying. He's praying on all of this. He's praying that that him being brutally honest over here is also gonna be what helps him here. He's praying that this whole situation works out for the best. He yeah, he has no choice. And the venom. The venom. So, like, he was struck by some venom, and he's praying to heal. Any more? You want one more? One more? Let's see. Oh, one more. The shaman. That came out in the other one of my other groups, y'all. That came out in one of my other groups. So listen, all right, all right, listen, right now, this divine masculine is coming, he's coming in hot for you, divine, <laughs> and he's playing, and, and he playing that game, he playing, he playing, he the one, he is bringing the laughter, he's praying on this, he's, he's healing on a deep level, possibly even a shamanistic level. Maybe he sees you as a shaman and he's just bringing in that fun energy. And, you know, comics heal. 
comedy and laughter heals. He's trying to heal the venom and pray, he's praying on this whole thing. And that's where you are. You're coming in as the answer to those prayers and he's your comic relief and you're his healing energy. And that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. He's done with this completely. Like donezo, beyond donezo. That being said, I hope that something in this resonated with you. That you found some comfort, clarity, peace. If you did, like, subscribe. I hope you caught my vibe. Please subscribe if you did. Um, and on that note, peace out. I'm going to be doing the Divine Feminine reading in a few minutes. Peace.